Hi friends, I'm Pastor Kerry. Welcome to Sunday School. We are on chapter nine of the story, the story of Ruth, the story of friendship and kindness, the story of the importance of doing things together. So let's get started with our uh, story card. Our main character is Ruth. Our key verse is found in the book of Ruth, um, the second chapter, verse 12. May the Lord reward you for what you have done. May the Lord, the God of Israel, bless you richly. Ruth, a widow from Moab, followed Naomi to Bethlehem. Boaz was a relative of Naomi. Boaz admired Ruth's humility and love for Naomi. Boaz married Ruth. All of those facts um, on this week's story card have to do with connecting, with relationships, with being together. And uh, that's a little bit of a theme for this week. Um, let's get right to our ancient questions. We are searching, we are asking for those ancient paths, looking to these characters in the Bible. Um, for examples, ex examples of how to follow God, of how to be a disciple, of how to um, find that good way that leads to rest for our souls. And we've been asking ourselves uh, all nine chapters, two ancient questions. Who is God in this story? And what is God asking of us? And so I want to start right off. God is someone, God turns our sadness to joy. God turns our sadness to joy. When we uh, decide to follow God, when we decide to do things God's way and not our way, um, life doesn't become uh, so easy that there's never any sadness. Um, there is still sadness. And and we know that God's love is so big and so powerful um, that it can turn any sadness that we may encounter into joy, into joy. And that may take some time. Um, it may take us um, really deciding to cooperate with God's love. And usually, we learn this from this from this week's story, it usually requires us to connect with other people. Um, it's hard for our sadness to turn to joy on our own. Uh, who is God? God turns our sadness into joy. And what does God want from us? Well, of course, God wants us to cooperate. We always uh, say that God wants us to cooperate with God's plan for us, God's best. And then God wants us to decide, to decide on purpose that we need people that we need to connect with people, that we need to um, decide to build healthy relationships with people where uh, we listen to them and they listen to us, where we speak uh, and they speak, where we uh, uh, show kindness to them and they show kindness back. Um, this is uh, the process of building a relationship, of deciding to do things together. So who is God? God turns our sadness into joy. And what does God ask of us? God asks us to decide uh, that we need to do things together, that we need people. We need people who um, can teach us, who can help us, who can protect us, who can challenge us to think bigger and deeper about God's love. We need people who can make us laugh and comfort us, um, people who can clothe us and feed us and house us. Uh, we need people. And we will be the people that someone else needs. Uh, yeah, so let's remember that. We need to decide, um, I guess, two things that we will need other people and that when they need us, that we're ready to respond, that we're ready to dig down into the love God has poured into us and 
um, that we can share that with other people. So who is God? God, we have our box of Kleenex again. We had this out a few uh, story, a few chapters ago, I think, when we were talking about crying out to God. Um, God turns our sadness into <laughs> joy. God turns our sadness into joy. What is God asking of us, boys and girls? God is asking us to decide, to decide to need other people. Uh, Ruth decided she needed Naomi. Naomi decided she needed Ruth. Ruth and Naomi together decided they needed Boaz and Boaz decided he needed Naomi and Ruth. So there was a lot of on purpose thinking um, saying, I'm not going to do it alone. I am going to connect my life in a meaningful way with other people and choose relationships. Remember, God is a relationship. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God doesn't just like relationships. God is a relationship. And so when we're looking for those ancient paths, we are always on the lookout for people who can be examples to us about um, healthy, meaningful, transformative relationships. And Ruth, and Naomi and Boaz are three people that are serve as wonderful examples of people who chose to need each other, chose to need each other. And, and God used that decision to turn sadness into joy. All right, friends, you are loved, you are prayed for. Um, go and be um, on purpose in your relationships this week and jump into chapter 10. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.